Let's talk about world peace. So the idea of world peace is kind of a foreign thing to me. In my opinion, it should be foreign to everyone because world peace, in my opinion, is unobtainable. And the reason I think that is because humans are humans. Humans got to do the human thing. Humans just got a human all the time and it will never stop. And I will tell you what that means now. So every person is different and every person is born with their own opinions and their own likes and dislikes. And sometimes those change, sometimes those are swayed from one way to the other. Humans in a sense, our minds are very flexible. Our likes and dislikes are very flexible. Our opinions are very flexible. We can swayed, be swayed from one side of an argument to the other very easily some easier than others some are really hard to sway and we're just different in every sense there are different races there are different sexualities some people identify as a different sex than what they were born with some people are born confused between which gender they are a lot of people just have different opinions different likes and dislikes different lifestyles different habits everything about every single person is just different character traits, how you look, how you act, they're all different. I'm bringing up the word different to prove my point that later on this will prove my point that world peace is unobtainable. It's just not going to happen. I know it will not happen in my lifetime. It will not happen in anyone's lifetime for as long as the human race exists because everyone is born different. Now. It's not just because of the fact that everyone is born different that world peace is unobtainable. If everyone agreed with each other and everyone respected the fact that we're all different, then we'd be a huge step closer to world peace. But that is not the case either because we are all also different in the sense that we refuse to accept the fact that we're all different and we would appreciate if everyone was just like us. And the problem with that is because everyone is different. And if everyone wants everyone to be exactly like them, there's 7 billion different ways that you could be like someone else. And for you to want the entire world to think the way that you do, if everyone thinks like that, which everyone does, then again, no one, it's never going to be achieved. The idea of a hive mind of humans, everyone who thinks the same way, everyone who has the same opinions, the same likes and dislikes, it would be like us being just a in sync robot army, which would kind of be boring in a sense, in my opinion. Again, we're back with opinions. Everyone has a different opinion. You could disagree with my opinion or not. You could believe that world peace is completely obtainable. That's completely fine. I don't really care. But I'm just saying, in my opinion, we are too different and we are too ignorant and we are too resistant to the fact that everyone's different to be able to achieve world peace. And that's just the way I think. That's just my opinion. That's just the way I look at world peace. A lot of people would say that they would wish for world peace, but I would never wish for world peace because I'd just be kind of redundant because world peace, again, is impossible. And even if I were to wish for world peace for just, how, let's see, how, how often are babies born? There's probably a baby born every couple seconds, more than that. There's several babies born every couple seconds. So if I were to wish for world peace, eh, world peace would be achieved for about a second or two and then someone would be born with a different opinion and then we'd be right back to not entirely world peace but very very close and then more babies would be born more different people with different opinions and then it would just we'd be back to everyone's different eventually sometime down the road and as long as everyone's different no one can agree and as long as no one can agree that's what starts things like the holocaust and isis and you know that's why there are bullies that's why people are bullied in school that's at all these things contribute to the complete opposite of world peace and in my eyes we just can't change that's because humanity just can't change they just have to keep going down the same road and we cannot change our ways because it's in our brains it's hardwired in our brains as much as we don't want it to and as much as people don't really pay attention to the fact that it is, it is hardwired in our brains. So in conclusion, world peace is a completely abstract, unreachable 
concept that the human race will never understand and will never be able to obtain. Alright, so anyway, that's all I wanted to say. This has been your favorite YouTuber, signing off. Peace.